I coded a profitable AI agent, not a website, not an app, an AI agent. And now I'm in the process of selling it from multiple six figures to a buyer with over $3 million in verified funds. From idea to building this AI agent to selling it to users for 700 bucks a month to now getting it acquired, I will break down it all in this video. This was a pre-planned process, not luck. Trust me, no video on YouTube exists like this. So how did this idea even come about? For the last one and a half years, I have been actively posting on YouTube, showcasing myself coding automation programs that can buy items from stores super fast, do mass messaging, generate AI QR codes, and more. A lot of these videos got under 10,000 views. I'm not pulling Mr. Beast numbers, am I? But I'm pulling something else. Girls? No paying users, which is better. I got an email from someone who saw one of my YouTube videos and saw that I had the skills of building these unique automation programs. The email read, hey, I'm having trouble getting shifts for work since I'm barely by my laptop. Can you build an agent that books shifts for me with no mistakes? This is something that I have never been asked before. Honestly, I didn't even know this was a struggle that people had, but I hopped on a Google meet with the client to understand his pain points a bit better. And this is what he had to say. Shifts for work release at random times. I'm not able to get these shifts since I'm only sometimes times by my laptop and I can't just carry it around with me everywhere. Can you make an agent that is able to go for the shifts I want automatically? I can tell it ahead of time what I'm looking for so when the shifts are available it can just snag them. I was pretty confused so I asked the worker why don't you just use your phone and this is what he had to say. I could but I might miss the email saying there are shifts available because my phone may be my pocket. I don't want to go crazy having to look at my phone every two seconds. I was like wow I mean I look at my phone every two seconds to see if I get text back. But there was one very important question that I asked him. How much does he earn per shift? His answer had me in shock, but we will revisit this later. Don't forget it because it's extremely important. But for now, let's talk about actually building the agent. So this is the flow of the AI agent. So going into the first part, the AI agent will be hooked up with the Gmail API so it can read the inbox and all the incoming emails of the user. The email with the upcoming shifts will always have the same subject start. New shifts releasing at random time. In this case, I put a PM. So the agent will then read each email that has a subject line new shifts releasing and use GPT to decipher the shift details. So it's actually going to read the email body and look at all the data regarding the shifts that are being released. So this means the shifts type, the time of day, as well as the date of the shift. Now, with all this information in its knowledge base, it will then read the user's schedule and decide which shifts can the user actually work based on the user schedule as well as the time of day and date of the shifts being released. Now to actually schedule the shift for the worker, the agent will use one post request to log in to the user's portal and another HTTP post request to actually book the shift. And then the shift is booked and the user is happy and the flow is done. So pretty simple to be honest, um, but very effective. Now I will say the early working version of this AI agent was under 300 lines of code, which is absolutely bonkers. There was no UI, just a simple console app. But this is where agents beat traditional apps. Agents don't have to look pretty. As long as they successfully automate the intended task, the agent is great. Looks do not matter. So with the flow written out, it was time to build. I used Node.js, OpenAI API, Gmail API, Calendar API to successfully build the MVP out. It took about four days to build. The first step was mimicking the HTTP post request that the browser makes to the server to actually book the shift. This process took about five hours to do. What took a lot of days was actually training the model to be able to read the email data. It had a lot of trouble. I think it was because I was using GPT 3.5 originally, but at that time, 4.0 just wasn't a thing. The main issue was that the email had a table with all the shift data. And for some reason, the table format was just not being understood by the AI. Sometimes it would mix up the shifts. Sometimes it would mix up the shift timings. Everything was just discombobulated. I was able to get it to work after feeding it over 40 plus email examples. But once I switched to 4.0, the accuracy was just so much better. I think I would even have to use all 40 email examples if I just use 4.0 from the start or if it was available from the start. Once the MVP was fully built, I spent two to three days more testing the full flow of the agent from getting the shift release email to finally booking a shift entire end to end. And the results surprised me. The AI agent was successfully booking shifts without the user having to do anything. It had a 95% accuracy in being able to read the emails and it barely missed a shift. The client was extremely happy as he went from getting three shifts a week to seven, which is a 133% increase. But there was a problem. I did this all 
for free. In fact, I never brought up pricing to the client, but now I knew I had to. Now, do you remember when I asked a client how much he was making per shift? Well, his answer was $300 on average. So with this number in mind, I calculated the result of him getting 133% more shifts. Through this agent, he was earning $1,200 more a week, which is $4,800 a month. So if I'm bringing him $4,800 a month in additional revenue, I could charge him anywhere from 10 to 20% of the added benefit. So I pitched him $700 a month and guess what? He agreed, no hesitation. And this is another part with building agents that automate tasks that bring customers direct financial value is so important. By bringing so much additional revenue to a client, being able to charge 500 to 700 bucks a month is pretty easy. On the other hand, SaaS apps are stuck at charging customers 120 bucks a month at the highest end. Agents that automate tasks that bring customers direct financial value can be priced at four to five times that that a SaaS can be priced at. We're looking at 500 to 700 bucks a month. With the product made, first paying user required, it was time to scale. And now I'm gonna share with you how I spent zero dollars in marketing and was still able to scale to 13 plus users. I simply asked my first client, do you have any friends that would need this? If you refer anyone, I will give you a hundred bucks a month off. This is commonly known as a referral program and is a great way of getting more users to your agent or your SaaS. Well, over the next month, this first user ended up bringing five more users. Those five brought a total of four more users. And finally, for the last three to four, I used Reddit and LinkedIn. My agent's revenue went from 700 bucks a month to 2.1K a month to 5.6K a month and to now 9K a month. And aside from the same Stripe fees, there were no other costs for this agent. So that $9,000 a month was mainly profit. And this was amazing and it is amazing. I'm blessed to be in this position, but this is where it gets even crazier. If you don't already know, you can sell your agent app SaaS for two to 10X as annual recurring revenue. My agent in the last 12 months has made about $70,000 annual recurring revenue. So according to the multiple, that that values an agent at $140,000 to $700,000. On platforms like Acquire and Flippa, you can sell your app for these crazy multiples. So as I'm recording this video, I'm literally talking to buyers with $3 million, $4.2 million in verified funds who are highly interested in buying out this agent. So please pray for me that this goes through because I have been spending hours in meetings with these people. But that's the beauty of it all. This was the goal. As soon as I got my first paying customer, I knew I was going to scale this. Once I hit a crazy annual recurring revenue, I was going to sell it on Acquire for a crazy multiple. And that's the lesson, to build your agent with the goal of getting acquired. And if you want to see me document my journey building a SaaS and getting acquired, watch this video next.